What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Stacey Harris yeah. Show. And in the building today, we have basketball wife yeah. star, L.A. Gloria Govan. And today, we have a special guest yeah. co-host. Yeah. We got Malcolm Three McDaniel in the building What's What's from the poppin'? group John McEnroe. How are yeah. you feeling? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good to be here. Yeah, I'm, I'm very excited. Right now, you know, it's a lot of different things going on, especially concerning the basketball wives. Yes. L.A. First of all, really when are you guys coming back? Uh, we start filming next month, the end of March. How do you feel about that? I'm excited. I'm excited because I know we have a, a few new girls coming on. I'm excited to see what everybody's up to. Is Crazy Time up. coming back? Um, Chris, uh, what's the Chrissy's wife name? I don't know who will film with her. I don't. I have so no clue. So do y'all really not like her? I really am not a fan. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm to be like, diplomatic here. Like this is the thing. Originally, when I first. When I first started watching, well, I first found out about who she is with, with yeah. Doug. I was like, oh, yo, they they all in love and her and Doug oh, are like, I know you're are like amazing. Right. And, and I think that's great that the NBA love is exists. Like, oh, hope, oh, oh. <laughs> Uh, pause. Right, I right. think it's like I think it's, I think it's bondage. I don't know, but you might know better than me. Like, what is that? Does Doug really like in love, or he's scared? No, listen, I think he's Doug, scared. <laughs> he might listen. Okay, so at, while we were at the reunion, mm -hmm. she, Doug was on right, and she's talking to him. I was like, I guarantee she has a gun to his back <laughs> right now. That's kind of like, what it seems like. Rounds, right, if it, you don't say no. Oh um, my god. No, honestly, listen, Doug honestly loves her. Like hands down, will get hit by a bus for her. Like he is Boom. in. Did she say? His life or something like. <laughs> right? Did, was, she, did he fall off did a cliff and he threw point? a rope was he or something? Dying and I, know. Long with I mean, I think ever since she beat up Rick Fox for him, you know, oh, she was like, she he did. was like, this is my boo. Okay, so when the season ended, yes. It ended with you being a single bad biatch oh. in the building. So yes. I'm kind kind of curious because I see Honey Boo Boo. Easy Boo Thank Yeah, Matt is in the house in case y'all don't know. Well, again, what up, Matt? Yeah. Yeah. It's actually pretty great the way you closed the door. And they, I don't know if they edited. <laughs> that's, that's, I don't know if they edited right, that. That's disrespectful. To be that's crazy, not how it went. Because they testify, really that. made it look like you. Yeah, like, was like, look, Matt, you can <laughs> kick these rocks with open toe sandals on. I'm not coming back. I'm single. I'm balling. Whatever. So oh, is that? how it really went no 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 no. matt and i i mean we split it was kind of a, it was a mutual split you know it was definitely very amicable because we understood at the time like it needed to happen you know i think it was this time you know well spent we really mm -hmm. needed it um apart and so i um, black love thanks boo you know, it's okay. been it's been hard. I mean, obviously, you know, him being on the Lakers and me being on his show, our relationship was under a magnifying glass, yeah. which which didn't make the situation any better. You know, what I mean, we could not yeah. sneeze without it being like, right. oh, uh huh. Did you see how you're like? Oh, oh the rumors God. are insane. It was crazy when I first saw you in the Miami. That's why I was I was like, mm. oh yeah. I was kind of like, I don't know if the way they edited you. Or if you was like, I'm finna show all you disrespectful, <laughs> unsuccessful relationship chicks what it is. And then fast forward, I saw you in LA. I was like, yo, okay. I was feeling you more in LA. I don't know Thanks. why. And I don't, I think maybe because it's a little more perspective on you and Matt. Yeah. Right. I don't know. You seem a little more down for the cause, like with your sister there and everything. You know, I was like, okay, she, yeah. she, she good. So with all of that, like, how do you feel about doing another episode coming up? This time around, we're definitely, we've, we've, really learned because last wow. time we literally opened the door you know what i mean we yeah. let people in our like, family hey, yeah i, well, I, I know come what you in. want to come in and sit on my exactly. couch so i think this time we're going to kind of let people know you know that it's just it's we're working on things privately we're definitely working on being friends and being co-parents and you know kind of seeing where the relationship goes we have a lot of love and history you know and that'll never go anywhere so i support black Thanks. love Get if y'all support love black basketball. love shout us on, out guys. give us the comment i just realized we've been we haven't been together for like six months months Damn. right mm -hmm. it was a long he was like you know it's been six months i was like huh that's a long time <laughs> that means she that means uh you were having fun huh <laughs> fun oh with each God. other right. oh, fun yeah, with so each other I it don't mean no six months jackets. just away no she was saying like they was broken like up broken up months. like we i mean we moved, moved into out, separate yeah right? we moved into she separate moved places she was still giving up the ass. yeah that's all man you don't move you don't be away you don't be together that long all relationships go just like that's that. That's how you on a roll. You know? Hey, no, real talk. When you have that genuine love, it don't matter what's going yeah, you down. Can't really I don't go care off. if you somewhere with four chicks. And, hey, guess what? You, you, and you beat it. <laughs> yeah. I'm here. And that's and guess what you would do? 
you go with it. Yeah. Right. So I, this one I want to talk about because um, I like to do a little Hollywood buzz. Now the whole thing with Chloe Kardashian. Not being a Kardashian? Yeah. <laughs> Why would y'all put that on blast? Like somebody somewhere in the true. camp has to know the truth. No, the truth obviously <laughs> has been exposed because they um they posted a picture of this dude that's been Chris Jenner's hairstylist for like thirty years. Looks exactly like Chloe. Stop it. Like it's a spitting image. Now, when I say that anybody could see that Stevie Wonder. <laughs> Ray Charles. Ray Charles, you know, we could all see yeah. that Chloe looks just like him. And then when you look at the family photos, it's like Chloe Kardashian, one of these is not like the other. But the thing about it is her mom even wrote in her book she had right? um, relationship with more than one, one dude yeah, I was reading her while book. she was married. Right, so right. you want to label yourself as a jump and then we trace it down to your daughter, Kim, right. who's labeled a jump. Is that hereditary? I don't... I just... So she did that. I thought, I thought the media put that out. No, 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 no. Her mother wrote it in her book. Her mother what? wrote in a book that she was... Her so mother some put dude it... named Ryan. Then she had some dude named like John. And some news guy. Yeah, some, some news, news guy. Yeah. Tom or something. She really said, put all of yeah. it out there. I just finished her book. But you really had to pay attention because she was like, but then I went back to the dad, but then I met Ryan again and he came back and then he moved in. What? And then John, you- you're like, whoa, 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 whoa. You just mentioned five different dudes. So is, Bruce, from- is Bruce not curious? Bruce I mean, the, the current dad? Is he not curious about his status in the family? Like, yeah, they're yeah, sweet. And I mean, the little girl too. The um, the, the model is a little... The model. Yeah. She's yeah, about they- to have her own show. Okay, see, this what? is where it has to stop. Oh yeah, they're like, setting him up You know what I mean? It. Like you kind of have to... You have to stop at some point. You know, you yeah. really kind of have to let your kids be safe. She's like 16. She looks like she's my age. The mom yeah, is grooming okay. all of them. The mom she's is a, a mad scientist. She's, she's, a, she's, she's brilliant. She's no, she's it. brilliant. Like, yeah. Let me tell you. They don't want to do a show. What you mean you don't want to do a show? Right. And whoever, whoever, dash, whoever you, you getting up. with. Yeah. We're going to do this show. <laughs> Get it together. That's what's happening. Teamwork. I like to always discuss like relationshipy type stuff. However... I feel like sometimes you have to discuss these things with the opposite sex and see what they think. Yeah, no, that's okay. Yeah, because yeah. we gonna give each other the same, uh-uh, the same girl, advice, uh-uh, the same. You crazy. Right. Yeah. Exactly. He Whatever. still love you, right? And he doesn't. He your car. Yeah, <laughs> he, he hates you. This is a segment called "How Would You Handle That." Let's just say you walk into a restaurant, right? Mm, this is bad. You see your chick. Now, first of all, you have no idea your chick is gonna be in this joint. You have no oh, idea. Oh, so I'm she's, just chilling. Yeah, you walk in maybe with your boys or whatever. Yeah, you walk into a restaurant and she's right. having dinner. It's a nice restaurant too. It ain't mm. cheap. Dinner with a gentleman that you do not know. First of all, I'm there with my niggas. We chilling, right? Okay. So I'm I'm doing my thing. If I see her, I'm like, oh, is that? You know, I gotta see. You know, her body language. You know, is is her legs? Is she touching the dude? Is she? You know, because it could be business. You so know, you can clock it for a second. Yeah, I, I gotta logical. assess the situation. Gloria, same question. You see your boo chilling with a chick. How would you handle that? Okay, so at first I would agree with three. I kind of have to I have to peep out the situation. Yeah. What you're wearing, what's your posture, yeah. Mm. I would order them a bottle of like Hysterical. wine or something mm. and sit at the bar and be like, that's on me. I got you. <laughs> Don't, a." Hey. Like I would do something like that. Yeah. But it depends. If like if the if the body language is different, it's a wrap. Yeah. I'm not and I don't get mad. Like I honestly wouldn't be mad at the chick. I'm going off on dude. Period. About you are correct because most women go automatically women. go for the chick. Mm-mm. And you have you no idea. First of all, you have no idea what he told her. But what, even if she knows, she's not obligated to you. He is. Right. His responsibility Period. is first and foremost is to you. Five years ago, I'm shutting the whole place down. <laughs> the whole thing down. <laughs> you karate chopping everybody. <laughs> 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 Right. So the next question: mm, If your girl cheats, mm. why won't you take her back? Let's just say she what? cheated. Let's just say let's get into this conversation. Let's just that say a... Shorty cheated like once. Mm, I mean, that's she was what? feeling <laughs> alone. She was. It was a lack of like whatever. I love three she responses. cheated yeah. once, right? Boxing. Why is it that men won't take their chick back, but us, us old retarded? Yeah, not retarded. That's love. That's love. Look at you. You are hilarious. I, I feel like it's a it's a deeper thing because when what? when y'all t y'all y'all it open not, your legs, no, you know what I'm saying? Right. Niggas sit this inside is, your frames and. <laughs> 
you know what I'm saying? It's like they in there, you know? Get out of here. No, 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 no. It's way deeper. No, see, because y'all think it's emotional. That ain't not every single time. Because it's just sex to men with y'all. It's like premeditated. That's not true. Like just how traditional marriages and stuff like that is out the window. That's not a double standard anymore. Just because y'all can hit any woman, put a wig on a pig, y'all like, I'll figure it out. You know what I'm saying? Like y'all like, that's cool. I'll get it. No, Like, no, that ain't right. Y'all, y'all cheats. And then when we do, y'all are like, how could you? And you're like, wait a minute. There's no boundaries off of revenge. But that's the problem. You like, wait a second now. Standards. How about this? Let's let's switch for a minute. Like, you know what, how we come across men who are perfect on paper. Everything lines up, like beliefs, finance, whatever the case may be. He's perfect on paper, but we just don't want him. Everyone wants to like the Marlon Brando, the bad, you know what I mean? The bad boy in like a leather jacket. You know, like everyone kind of likes that excitement. Like, I don't think that women really want like that, you know, that kind of like submissive man. Like that's that's not going to make you feel like a man and that's not going to make me feel like I'm protected. And you know what I mean? Like a real woman, you know, in the situations. I don't like the dude that sits around and says, yes, babe. Whatever you want. Yeah, no, that's okay, my game. Yeah. Right, right. It is what it is. Right, absolutely. And again, that's kind of coming from this generation. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. A lot of single mom, like, homes, you know, that kind of have to be strong. I'm not ashamed to be like, I don't mind when, you know, when someone's like, girl, and you're like, yeah, okay, big dad. I know. All right. <laughs> oh, my you know what I'm saying? saying? Okay. Wait a minute, hey, boo. You right. are so right. I'm right. sorry. Right. You are so that's, right. You know what I mean? It's sexy. You know what I mean? It's sexy. And let's that's argue a little bit, too, you know, so I can see where you stand. And then the makeup sex is mm-hmm. great. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> really? I sense. know. Hey, right. Okay, so this is the part of the show where I like to talk about everything I think is failing in life. It's oh, called man. failed. Tyler's and Tiara's. Oh, I've seen that. They the was a huge weird article. Girl. Yo, there is called this, okay. weird. Yeah, she's weird. Let's just keep it one hundred. This is line she says. That's magic. It's magic. I'm gonna start saying it. She goes, a dollar make me holla, Hi, honey, boo boo child. <laughs> What? That's the one that drinks what? that go-go juice. This is my thing. At six, I'm if a dollar cool. makes you holler, what's going to make you holler at ten? Mm. Why would you allow your six-year-old to do that? To do mm. that? Like, what does that mean? They ain't got nothing else to do. No, no, yes, you do. Go to school. Hilarious. What floors me the most of all, she's a beauty queen. Where's she from, have Arkansas? You, have, you, have you seen her? She's bald-headed. I mean, well, <laughs> Who, the little she kid? She's not uh-huh. quite bald, but there's a lack of hair growing <laughs> around the head. Uh, but you're six. She ain't been getting enough dollars. <laughs> God, that's messed up. A dollar make me holler. I'm smacking the hell out of my daughter. A dollar make you go holler. This bell gonna make you holler because you're not hollering about a dollar. We're not doing that For at real. six. Right, We're not because doing it. after that, she's like, oh, the only thing that's gonna, you know, the, the key to winning is showing your stomach. She pulls her shirt up Mm-mm. and shows this belly. She holds it and she begins to make it talk. And everybody's laughing at this little girl who's only six. Yeah, what's gonna happen? Then she's gonna be pulling down her pants. <laughs> because guess uh, what does guess what does it? Right, a dollar. Holla. It right, makes her exactly. holler. Mm. Quarters. This mother thing that's failing. The bad girls club. Uh-huh. I need to know why you take seven unstable, unsavory, unfortunate <laughs> girls and put them on a show and put them all in one house with liquor and we say, do it. Right. What are we trying to accomplish with the Bad Girls Club? Um, the same thing we're trying to accomplish with Jersey Shore. Yeah. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> <laughs> nothing. Does anybody feel responsible for that? Like, I thought what it was does that not mean? okay to like to physically hit somebody on. I thought you get arrested. Really? What you do is you egg the other person on and let like them. you all up in a right, right, all up in here. And with then the as soon as somebody smacks you, then you go. They have to go, but the fight can happen. That because but they we don't see love that though. Boxing. We do. I love we a do. good fight. I love a good smackdown. Love some boxing. When your sister fought uh, Malaysia, I thought it was great. <laughs> I just did. I wasn't there. I was on my way. Where, was it? Where were we on our way to? Legoland. 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 We were on the freeway stuck in traffic. traffic. I know. Hey, I get stone. calls. <laughs> She just attacked. I was like, "What?" Yes, I was don't like, "Hit really? a quitter to the head, and y'all at Legoland." It seems like that they know that they're coming there to box. When do they, they know? You no. Know, what they do is, I think a lot of people think the reality show is like scripted. You know what I mean? Kind of like, "Oh, well, here's your script. You know, yeah. have at it." No, that's honestly what they do. They they just create the situations. What they do is they go, <laughs> "All right, three. I know you don't like Gloria, so but y'all about to go to dinner." 
Oh yeah. You know what I mean? And they're, they're kind of like, like, why would you do that? Right. They're kind of like, whatever happens, happens. I'm just gonna let y'all know y'all are going to dinner. <laughs> right, you're like, right. okay. <laughs> we we officially come to the end of our show. I want to thank everybody for tuning in. I want to thank Miss Gloria Govan for joining us on the Basketball Wives LA. We look forward to seeing you on the next episode. Yeah. Thanks, Dollface. And Malcolm Three McDaniel. Thank you. And no nightlife entertainment in the building. We got Kiana and the co homes Carissa. Since we got Matt Barnes. Lakers in the building. Yeah. We got Fresh Photo. We got Hollywood Studios and everybody else in the building. Thank you so much for joining us. We are about to sign out. And I'm going to do it like this for you, Doc Cornelius. We say, what we going to say, everybody? Love, Love peace, peace, and soul. soul. Real quick, we have to shout out Don Cornelius. Yeah. You know, he had he he built an empire. Soul yeah. Train. Do y'all remember the pop yes. locks? Oh, 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 get it. Get it. Bring it. Wait, you want it? Yeah. Get it. You gonna take it? Oh, uh oh, uh oh. Get it three. Get it three. Yeah. Okay. Oh, snap. I just want to go. Okay. Oh, you stole my move. Oh, did, damn. Yeah. What you want to do? You want to do this? Yeah, I was going to. Yeah, I was going to. With the. Oh, robot. Oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs>